Hello, my name is Dan Schmidt. I do a weekly television show called Team Chicago Challenge. My website, teamchicago.tv. Teamchicago.tv. 1999 was a great year for Team Chicago. You know what? I'm here. Rich's Yamaha was one of my sponsors back in 1999. I got to ride this new striker today, rode the toy run. But let's go back to 1999. Let's show you some of the highlights. Six hour national endurance. 1999 from Road Atlanta, the Weira, Dunlop Weira National Endurance Series, 1999. This six hour National Endurance. It is Glenn Zarek on the 1000 Semoff Brothers Yamaha that took the early lead. Semoff Brothers Racing and Arclight Suzuki. Suzuki on the 750 Suzuki have been battling the first four races this season. But Arclight Suzuki has had a few problems during the year. As we come into this race, Semoff Brother is leading in the points. Army of Darkness is in second place. As we see Glenn Zarek leading at Arclight Suzuki right there. Carlisle Racing is on the 1000 Yama as they head out to turn five and six on the back section of Road Atlanta. The rest of the team follow through the corner. It is Dunlop Brother Racing dominating again on that 1000 Yamaha. Heading down the back chute, it is Dunlop continues to lead. Arclight Suzuki's right there. Carlisle, 1 800 Crotch Tracking. Team Chicago with Steve Carson is running very good at this point in the race. Neighbor of the Beast, as we see Dunlop Brothers Racing leading down the front straightaway. But that's how it went for the next hour and a half. It was Semoff Brother Racing and Arclight continuing to battle as they head down the back chute. We're getting into the first hour racing in. It is Semoff leading Arclight Suzuki second. Psycho Speed Racing, Carlisle 1-800 Crotch Rocket. That is the rating at the first hour. Second hour, it was Semoff Brothers, Arclight, and then Psycho Speed as we see Steve Carson battling with Army of Darkness. Steve Carson on the Team Chicago R6 Yamaha 4 and 6 prepared is leading Army of Darkness at this point. And Team Chicago continues to lead in the points. Middleweight Super Stock as we get to the fifth round of this 10 race series. The Weira National Endurance Series. As we get into the second hour, it is Semoff Brother Racing. They are leading. Arclight Suzuki is running second. Psycho Speed Racing has moved up to third place. D&D Racing is right there. And Carlisle. At this point in the season, Army of Darkness. Great year. They are leading in the points in middleweight superbike. Semoff Brother is leading in heavyweight superbike. Team Chicago, we are leading a middleweight super stock as we see Semoff continue to battle with Arclight Suzuki. It has been a great battle this far this year, but there has been problems with restarts in this race. So as the bikes continue to battle, Steve Carson goes flashing by, a red flag comes out. And as we wait for the restart, this is 246 into the race, green flag. Bikes come off the grid, head up the hill. Up front, is that number 44? 44, that's D, D Racing from Dawsonville, Georgia. Sponsored by Hill Concrete and Foundation, Yamaha Suzuki of Canton. Looks like Dale Davenport's leading the charge as Arclight moves down on the inside. Arclight Suzuki and at 750 Suzuki. Sponsored by Suzuki, Pirelli, Motion Pro, Yashimura. And during the third hour, I'm on the Team Chicago 4 and 6 prepared Yamaha dealers, Dunlop Tires, Race Tire Service, Torco Racing Oil, Torco Racing Fuel, as we had under the Michelin Bridge and head downhill. I'm following right now DRS Racing. They're on the 750 Suzuki. Looks like d, &D Racing just flagged by. But at this point, three hours in the race, it is Arclight Suzuki 
still battling with Semloff Brothers, D&D Racing, Army of Darkness, Psycho Speed Racing, 1-800 Crotch Rocket. And back in the pits, there is a disaster. Oh, problems in the pits. Would Arclight Suzuki go down? Doesn't look like there's any damage. As they come in through these far corners. Uh-oh, looks terminal. It's been reported that the cam chain could have broke again. This is the second one for the season. And as Glenn Zarek goes flashing by, they are leading their number one competitor, having problems at Road Atlanta. As we see Army of Darkness and Penn State, Army of Darkness have a great race. DZ is now running in second place. Rock Rocket and Psycho Speed. As Tapeworks come into the pits, Tapeworks, they make tape graphics. They're out of South Carolina. Taking on fuel and they'll be blasting off. On the 600 Suzuki. Steve Carson, what a man. He is flying out there. He's made up for the lost lap. Pete Chicago is running in eighth place at this point. Four hours in eighth place as Leading Lizards from Kirstein Cycle Center, North Judson goes flashing by. They're having a great race out here, Rotoland. In the pit now, it is some off brother racing on that 1000 Yamaha. R1 Yamaha, some off brother. Glenn Zarek is turning over to Mr. Brown. Checking the tires, everything looks good. Taking on fuel. Mr. Brown's gonna be blasting off. Great race for a great team. Glenn Zarek in the towel on his head. It is a little hot at Road Atlanta. And after five hours of racing out here, Road Atlanta, Semoff Brothers Racing, number one is up front in the 1000 Yamaha. Number 44, D&D Racing, second, Army of Darkness, 99's third. Number eight, Crotch Rocket is running in fourth. 77, Cycle Speed Racing is running in fifth. Neighbor of the Beast is up to sixth. Rapid Transit's running seventh. Paramount is running eighth. Steve Carson has got Team Chicago up to ninth place. Team Matrix is in tenth. As we see Steve Carson blast by one more time on the Team Chicago four and six prepared Yamaha dealers. R6, the second flag is flying. Semoff Brother goes on to pick up the win. D&D Racing second, Army of Darkness third, 1-800 Crash Rocket fourth, this one to Cycle Speed, Rapid Transit is sixth, Paramount Racing seventh, Neighbor of the Beast was eighth, Cape Works was ninth, Team Matrix was tenth, Team Extreme was eleventh, Team Chicago, we finished in twelfth place, and in the overall point, it was... And as Glenn Zara comes in a victory circle, Semoff is leading overall Army of Darkness, Arclight, Tapeworks, Crotch Rocket, Cycle Speed, and Team Chicago 7th. And on Sunday, let's check out the 125 GP class. Front, it's like Jason DeSavo on that Alien Racing Applied Business Systems, Inc., Batavia Cycle Center, 125 Honda. Right behind them is the national champ. It's Mike Himmelsbach from Quakerstown, PA, on that Blackman Cycle. Team Himmelsbach Racing, Bell Helmet, Michelin Tires. Number 16 is Ben Spies from Longview, Texas, on that Keith Cherry Racing Team, EBC, AFRAM, How Fuel, Silkling, Moto. But it looks like Mike Himmelsbach has got the horsepower as he makes it by Jason DeSavile down the long straightaway. And Jason was complaining earlier that the bike is just not fast. But coming back, making the attack, as I swing the camera over, this guy must have the hot line under the bridge and down the front straightaway. Up front again is Jason DeSavile on that Alien Racing Applied Business Systems. Mike Hemmelsbach, 
right behind him, Ben Spies. Running in third as Ben looks for a way around this group. But in the end, Jason just ran out of trick. It was Mike Hemmelsbach going on to pick up the win. Young Ben Spies, that's right. The man that's running MotoGP now. Ben Spies on the 125. Jason DeSavo did finish third. For more information in the future, Go to WERA.com. WERA, WERA.com. Don't forget, TeamChicago.tv. TeamChicago.tv for more info about Team Chicago. And funding for the show has been provided by Bell Helmets, RP Active Sports, West Bend, Wisconsin. And that's it from Rotomana 1999.